In this problem, we're being asked to look at some ordered pairs, an input and an output, um, and an input and another output, and an input and another output, and then figure out what the rule is for this function. You know, a function is some mathematical thing that you put numbers in and you get a different number out. Uh, and there's, you know, some equation we can write or some expression we can write that would represent what that function does. When you see uh, pairs like this, you should be thinking, hmm, is something being added? Is something being multiplied? Is something being subtracted? Is something being divided? Those are the things I think to look for first. So when I look at this one to three, I know I've added two. Here, two to six, well, there I've added four. Eight to 24, I've added um, 16. So adding isn't consistent. Uh, so it might, might not be adding. Let's take a look at multiplication. Uh, one times three would be three. Two times three is six. Eight times three is 24. Aha, so I found something consistent. So it looks like we're multiplying by three. So when they give us this letter N, this just stands for any number you want. And we're going to write three times N because that's what happens with all of these. We multiply by three. And that is going to be our general rule for the function. So the, the function now is any number n you put in, you get out three times n. So that is how to write a function rule when you've got a table of ordered pairs like this.